Hello guys, uh, today I'll show you how to find hat trick if you're working on a cricket database. Uh, let me give you a quick brief about the database I'm working on. Uh, I have the database from IPL. IPL stands for Indian Premier League. Uh, I have the database for its first nine seasons, so between the years 2008 uh, to 2016. Uh, all the tables that you see right here are uh, in its uh, normal form one. There are a total of 22 tables, uh, but in order to get the result that I'm looking for, I only need four of them. So let me show you quickly how these four tables look like. So the first table that we need is uh, ball by ball. So let's take a quick look. So this particular table has information for each and every delivery throughout all these nine seasons. So as I mentioned, this is in the normal form one. So in order to find uh, the actual batting team's name or the bowling team's name, you may have to join it with the different tables. Also, same thing goes for the striker, non-striker, and the bowler. Uh, but out of all these deliveries, I'm only interested in the ones on which the wicket was actually taken. So for that, we need a table named a wicket taken. So in this one again, it has a similar information, tells you the match ID over ball ID. Additionally, it tells you which player was out on that particular delivery and what kind of out was it. So before we go any further, uh, for those who are not familiar about how the hat-trick is calculated in cricket, uh, let me show you the definition of hat-trick and the condition that must meet uh, to declare a delivery as a hat-trick delivery. Let's take a look. This is the definition of hat-trick on Wikipedia that in cricket, a hat-trick occurs when a baller takes three wickets with consecutive deliveries, which means three balls, three wickets. But those three wickets have to meet this particular condition that only wickets attributed to the baller count towards a hat-trick, which means the following wicket do not count, run out, retired hurt, obstructing the field, because these wickets goes to the team, not to the baller individually. For this information, we're going to use our next table, that is out type, which means we don't want to include the wickets that are either number three, run out, number five, retired hood, or number nine, obstructing the field. In this video, I'm going to work only on this part of the definition, where the bowler took three wickets on three consecutive deliveries in the same over. I'm going to use lead and lag function uh, to get the results I'm looking for. Uh, please let me know if you think that there is a better and efficient way to do this. And the second part of the definition will be my challenge to all the SQL experts and the SQL beginners like me to enhance their SQL skills. I'll post this in detail at the end of my video and in the description to let you know what is the final outcome that I'm looking for. So the fourth table that we need is player because I want to see the name of the player who actually took that hat trick. And the table looks like this. So this has the player ID, player name, and some more information. As you know, this is in the normal form one. So if you need to know more about the player, like what country he belongs to, uh, what kind of polling skill he has, you can just join some more tables. For now, we will start with these four tables. And the first thing that we need to do is join all these four tables together and select all the required columns that we want to see in our final output. So let's do the joining. So the first thing, the first table we have is ball by ball. Let's give it alias BP. And then we want to join it to wicket taken. We'll give it name WT. The next table that we have is out type. We will give it alias OT. And the fourth table is player. Let's call it P. So now I want to select the columns that I need. So the first column that I want to see is match ID. Next thing I want to see is innings number. The next thing is over ID, ball ID. After that, I want to see who took that wicket. So I want to see the player's name. Also, I want to see what kind of out it was. So we're going to do out type as out name. 
then let's give it a condition for join so we will join all of these with the ball by ball match id wt match id p dot innings is equal to wt innings p dot ORID equal to p Okay, same thing for apply OT ID is go to WT kind out. P we will join on. And I want to see the results in particular ascending order. So let's start with the match ID, innings over ID and ball ID. And let's see how it looks. Okay, so now we have the data for all the uh, wickets in ascending order. Um, so let's take a quick look at this. We have the same match, same innings, same over. Two different wickets were taken in this particular over, but these are not consecutive. So in order to find out if the deliveries were consecutive or not, uh, we will use lead and lag function. So let's make it as a step two. I'm gonna copy the whole thing here and before we add uh, lead and lag functions uh, we need to remove some of the deliveries that are not going towards the baller uh, so such as run out retired herd and obstructing the field so if you remember uh, the out type was three five and nine so we will use the where condition to remove those deliveries so we're ot out id not in these three selections three five and nine so now we will work on this so at this point, uh, we can go ahead and add the lead and lag function. And we're going to call lag as a lag. And the next column that I want to see is lead is lead. So the lag and lead function, we're going to use it on the ball ID because I want to match uh, the next ball with the current ball ID and the previous ball with the current ball ID. So bb.ball id uh, we have to use the over condition for lead and lag so over in over we must give order by but i also want to partition it uh, using this particular order match id innings and over and we will use order by because i want to see uh, it in the order for uh, in the ascending order for the ball id only so we'll just copy this thing here like this. Okay, so I'm gonna do the exact same thing for the lead as well. Okay, and let's see how it looks like. Okay, now if you see uh, right here, so we can see the lag of this ball. So this delivery minus one, that is two, we see it here. And this delivery plus one, that is this one right here. Uh, but for this, I want to see three different deliveries for the same over. So we will scroll down to find that particular delivery that we are looking for. So for this particular case, we'll just take um, this one as an example. If you see same match, same inning, same over, three deliveries and these three deliveries were consecutive. You can see it right here. So the lag, this ball minus one is three, and this ball plus one is equal to five. So this meets the condition that we're looking for. Now I want to see uh, the deliveries and only those deliveries where uh, the hat trick happened. So in order to narrow down or filter these, uh, I have to use a condition. I have to use a case function. So let me show you the condition we are going to use. So in case, we want to see when the ball ID minus one was equal to the lag, and then the ball ID plus one is equal to the lead. So when this condition happens, it will be our hat trick. So let's do that. So case, mpb ball ID minus one is equal to lag. So this, 
and at the same time when the BB plus ball ID plus one is equal to this and when this happens then we will add a column that will show us whether that delivery was a hat trick or not or whether that was a hat trick over or not so then hat trick else I'll just leave it as no and I will give this column a name let's say sequence okay so let's see the outcome now if you go all the way down to the same example 336 okay now you will see it shows hat trick but in reality uh, this was not the actual hat trick delivery this is the one that's supposed to be the hat trick delivery and i want to highlight this one as hat trick not the 336 for that uh, we will use the lag function twice uh, we don't need to use the lead function for that case so let's just use this particular condition twice there is a small change that we need to make is this uh, because we already compared the ball id minus one with the lag of the ball id we want to use uh, we want to see the last to last delivery if it also matches uh, the consecutive order or not so we will just subtract it by two and for the lag by default it only goes uh, one back so if you want to see lag by two you have to give the value after comma two so now let's see what we get as the outcome okay so we will scroll down to the same one 337 okay now you see the 337 is showing as a hat trick delivery now the other one and this is what i want so the next thing that i want to do is um, narrow down these deliveries to the deliveries on which the hat trick ball was delivered so let's call it uh, the step number three i'm just going to copy paste this one three uh, in this i don't need to use lead lead and lag columns anymore so to get the desired outcome i'm going to use the uh, concept called drive tables in which i want to get everything that is a part of this particular query and I'm going to name it as X okay so, from, okay, so the next condition that I want to use is where X dot sequence is equal to hat rate so that we can narrow it down to only those deliveries so let's see how it looks okay you can see for these nine seasons only seven hat tricks were taken by the ballers and so yeah we got the final outcome that we were looking for we found all the hat tricks that were taken in these uh, nine season i wouldn't say all of them but if we only cover the first part of the definition now for the second part of the definition let me show you quickly what uh, i wanted so the second part of the definition says the deliveries may be interrupted by an over of the another baller but as long as it's the same baller in the same match if it's a three consecutive deliveries doesn't matter whether it comes in the same over or not it will be considered as hat trick so let's just uh, hypothetically take this as an example so 12th over was balled by Jaisuria and he took a wicket on the last ball. Only if the sixth ball was the last ball. Just uh, considering that sixth ball of the 12th over was the last ball and Jaisuria took a wicket. So let's say Jaisuria uh, balled another over and the over number was 20th. And on the 20th over, uh, if the first and the second deliveries were wicked as well so it will be considered as a hat trick for Jaisuria because uh, these were the three collected deliveries overlapping to the next over 
so that is the actual outcome that I was looking for uh, so far I tried uh, various different uh, ways various different uh, functions but I couldn't reach to the desired result so if any SQL expert uh, looking watching this video or any beginner want to do a brainstorming uh, please help me uh, find this particular solution that I'm looking for and thank you so much uh, for watching this video um, any feedback is appreciated please like and subscribe my channel thank you